Receipt after receipt after receipt after receipt after receipt. See? Bro, you can't be talking to you do your research. You don't know. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Because it was never the money. Back, especially back in them times, I had plenty of it. So I didn't give a fuck about the money. I never cared about the money ever. I don't want to take no L. The L was meant worse to me than fucking losing some money. Shit. If I was doing things in that time, I'm making that money back in fucking one day. For me to even put in the work that I'm putting in, hey, I ain't playing with y'all. See, I'm going to show y'all why they want me gone. Thank y'all for tuning back in. It's your boy, Pelican Bay Kennels, giving you that dog news the way I always do. Fair and unbiased, some gonna like it, some ain't. You know, like I always tell you, it ain't my job to worry about that. Just to give the news. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Thank y'all to all the ones that subscribed so far. Hit that like button before you get up out of here. Hit that notification bell just in case somebody else ain't get alert that the video is dropping. You know, comment before you get up out of here. Comment before you get up out of here. Let's get into that dog news. All right, first thing I want to do, man, is apologize to all my subscribers and all the people that be checking my videos out. I haven't been dropping as much lately because I've really been busy with these puppies, trying to make sure they know to stay up to par. All 16 are still living. Plus, I got, you know, the other, other, the, um, you know, my pit little about to drop as well, you know. So I'm trying to juggle a lot of things, plus my training and all that stuff, I'm trying to juggle a lot of things at once, you know. Plus, keep doing the videos and stuff for you. So, you know, just bear with me. And, you know, I'm going to be back on the roll in a few minutes. But today we got a video. We got a video. We got some things to talk about. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, before I get into that, anybody want a Belgian model wild puppy, hit me up. Hit me up on my inbox or call my phone. You know, 843-902-3755. You know, and only serious inquires when, we, when it comes to the model wild puppies, man, because it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I'm just going to leave it at that. But, um, and make sure you know the breed. Do a little research on the breed, you know. It would help a whole, whole lot, you know. And, but um, let's get into that dog news, that pit bull dog news. All right. One thing I've been noticing, man, on the message boards over the last couple of days, and I'm trying to figure out, I just can't. You know, I've been to school all my life, or like, you know, it was like everybody else, 12 years. I just can't figure it out, man. Okay. Why everybody so focused on having the best producing walk dog? <laughs> That's why I don't understand. Like, I see people going back and forth with this man about his blood, about a walk dog, about a walk dog. How can you go back and forth with the creator of that line? I just don't understand, man. I don't understand it. And I understand a lot of things, but I don't understand that. How a person can take one dog that he, he, first of all, like I say, he haven't even experienced. How can a person who's never experienced what that, that family of dogs have to offer throughout the 30 years of their their existence, but yet yeah, you get one dog in, uh, you know, in generation three, you know, in the, in, 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 at the end of the thirty years, you get one dog and say you you producing better than they ever did, and this the best producing one around. I just don't understand it, man. When you didn't you didn't you don't even know what you're looking for. <laughs> you don't even know what you have. What it seems like to me is what it seems like to me. Walk, you know. Cause see, a lot of these folks ain't never had high scale dogs, you know. So when they get one high scale, one high scale dog, they, it blows their mind. You know what I'm saying? Like getting a piece of good, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when they get one piece, it blows their mind. So when they get one good dog, they so used to having this bullshit throughout the years. When they get one good dog, it blows their mind, and they feel like, oh, this is the best dog in the world. Well, man, we've been running that same shit forever. That's how all of it do. That's how all of it do. Not knocking what you got, because what you got is good. And to be saying what you got ain't shit, it'll be knocking, you know, his own bloodline. 
So why would he knock his own blood? You got something good, you know? But you can't, you can't believe in your own head that you gonna produce better dogs than what Walk producing with one dog that you got. Which dogs did he, did he outproduce? Okay, which dogs did Dead Eye outproduce out of the Walk dogs? Cause we gonna talk Walk, we gonna go all the way back. He, so Dead Eye producing better than Big John and Little John. Dead Eye producing better than Yellow John. How about uh, Cycle on the Crazy Eyes? Is Dead Eye producing better than them? Now Dead Eye great dog coming down off some of that stuff, but is he producing better than them? Is Dead Eye producing better than um? You know, Johnny One Nut, is Dead Eye producing better than Split Ears? Is Dead Eye producing better than Buddy? Is Dead Eye producing better than Craig Eyes Jr.? Like, you know, is Dead Eye producing better than uh, Red Giant? How about, um, we're going to name females and everything. Like, you got CP them. You got Saber them. Like, who, like, out of all them, you know, what characteristics is dead eye throwing that you can say he's producing better than all of them. That's why I say sometimes you gotta pay attention to the way people talk and the way people handle their business on that, that, that puppy pillow and stuff because that puppy pillow is real, man. And people don't care what they gotta do to sell them. They'll cut throat, they'll talk about this, talk about that. But real dog men know what time it is, man. Real dog men know what time it is. It is only certain people that's trying to fit in Certain people that's trying to, that can't really think for themselves on certain levels that's going for all the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because a real dog man know what time it is. You know? And, okay, this is what I want to know, right? Why everybody so, okay, if you get a dog from Walker Mall, so why you so focused on saying, oh, you breeding the best walk? Why you can't say, you don't got enough confidence to say you got the best Red Boy Jocko producing dog in 2022? Your confidence ain't that high? Or oh, you, you, you ain't confident, confident enough to go against Pitt Island. Or oh, you ain't confident enough to go against these other guys. Or oh, you want to just jump on walk. You just want to jump on walk. You know, that's, that's the going thing in 2022. Jump on walk. Jump on walk. Walk once we got the best thing smoking. Jump on walk. All right. But if it was me, I'd say, oh, Pelican Bay got the best producer of Red Boy Jocko dog around. Over Pitt Island, over Evo, over all them boys. Over walk, over all of them. But hey. Everybody ain't got the same confidence level. They only want to jump on one person. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like you're producing the best of this, or you got the best producer, why not step out there? Step off the porch. Go all the way out there. Don't just talk about walk. You know, because they ain't the only ones with uh, pure red boy Jocko. Because at the end of the day, it's all coming from the yellow stuff and the, and the Chavis Jocko stuff. So if you know somebody else that got pure yellow and pure Chavis Jocko, call them out too. Because everybody's confidence level ain't the same, like I tell you, man. People want to pick out people they want to jump on. Oh, oh, I think, oh, we're going to try to uh, take walk out. We're going to try to take walk out. Man, listen here, man. What y'all boys better do is spend a whole lot more money, spend a whole lot more time, and, and, and learn. You don't even know, like, the characteristics of them dog. Period. Period. This dog do this, this dog do that. Man, come on, man. Come on. Come on now. Come with it. Come with it. When you're cutting everything up, crossing it up, make good dogs sometime, you know? But you you can't feel like you got 30 years worth of characteristics in one dog. That this one dog, that this man don't got no more of on his yard. One dog off a little. Your, your pretty much your first dog, your first walk dog off that little. That this man still got more of that whole little, you know. But you feel like this is the number one. Instead of you saying, shouts out to so-and-so for breeding that good stuff. I got this great producing dog here off of the walk stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, what you're doing ain't going to work regardless. You know what I'm saying? What you're doing ain't going to work regardless. Because like I say, dog man, no dog man. Peddlers, no peddlers. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you can't take no damn one damn dog talking about they talking about uh, the man one-sided. Yeah, the man one-sided because the man make his dogs one family. You know what I'm saying? There's the difference between a person who know what they're doing and a person who talking know what they're doing on Facebook. 
See, it's easy to know what you're doing on Facebook, but it ain't easy to know what you're doing in real life. You know, you talk about a man one side of this. It's very few breeders out there that stick into one family of dogs. And when you find them, you better act like you, they know what they're doing because they ain't breeding that one family year after year after year for nothing. You know what I'm saying? They ain't, uh, something, something working right for it. You know, so every 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 kennel can't help because you got to breed Eli with this. You got to breed this with that and this and try to hope to get some. People tired of hoping, man. People want to breed stuff and know what they get and know what the percentage is. And when you're dealing with wealth, the percentages is way higher than what these Facebook junkies and, and, and Facebook doggers is claiming that they one little dog is doing. You can't, you can't even uh, think to imagine that. You know what I'm saying? That's just like nonsense. All right, quick example. Shout out to my, uh, my, my boy, uh, Florida Outlaw down there, you know? All right. Vanguard, Vanguard K9. Producer of the, some of the best and the only blue Dutch shepherds that I know, you know, around here. Period. You know what I'm saying? He originated. He 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 running that. You know what I'm saying? I right, he been doing it 20 some years or more. I right, this is what I'm saying. Let me buy one one blue dog from him, one of them blue shepherds from him, and then take that blue shepherd and I'm saying try to shut down his whole program. I'm saying, oh, I got the best producing blue shepherd. I got, yeah, I got it from Vanguard. I got it from Vanguard. I got it from Florida Outlaw. But uh, uh, my producer better than his. You know what I'm saying? My producer better than his. He don't know what he was doing all them, all them years. Come on, man. You see how stupid that sound? I take one dog and think I can out overshadow what that man did for 25 years. Come on, man. 25 years of success, and you thinking you want to come puppy in 2022? And because you get one dog, you think that shit gonna overshadow what real dog man didn't accomplish? More than one real dog man, real dog man from around the country done accomplish. You know what I'm saying? Then, then you get up there and have a nerve to say nobody winning with your dog. No people you know, man, they not really connected in the dog game. All the people that you know not really connected hit certain levels of the dog game. All right, all right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me use my own dog, man. Let me use my dog. I got Saber 2000, which is off Jocko and Yellow Girl. Straight walk most though. All right, she pregnant. She pregnant for hex though. All right. And I promise you, this is the best litter ever produced by Walk Mo. They ain't even got none of this. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got this. You know what I'm saying? And I promise you, the puppies that's coming off this, they won't be able to produce these puppies. These puppies gonna be producing better than everything they ever had. I promise you that. You know what I'm saying? That female right there in the backyard, that one I got, Saber 2000, they ain't got nothing producing like her. I can promise you Walking Mall ain't got no female producing like Saber 2000 back there. You know what I'm saying? And when the puppies come, if I do decide to sell one, I promise you, man, I promise you, they can't produce that. You know what I'm saying? Because, see, I, I bred it to his dog Hexo, you know, but see, Saber 2000 is mine. So he ain't got no more Saber 2000, but see, he got some more of her sisters on the yard and some more of her brothers, but he ain't got no more of her. So, you know, every, and one thing, I'm, I, you know, we all know that every dog gonna produce the same, even though they may be all the same litter. Now that's a proven thing, okay? But, now he do got the puppies and litter stuff, but he don't got none of this. Now how that sound, man? How that sound, man? Listen here, man, no matter what I wanna say, I can't take one dog and outshine 30 years of progress, man. That's the whole point of it. 30 years of progress, you can't do it, man. <laughs> no matter how big a pup pedal you want to be. Why y'all don't ever say, y'all go get a dog and outbreed Tom Garner. Y'all get a Garner dog and making the best Frisco and Eli Chinaman dogs around. Better than Tom Garner dogs. You never hear nobody say that. Y'all want to jump on walk, man. Y'all always want to jump on walk. Because see, what it is, <laughs> uh, you, you know where that money at as far as the good dogs. People know that they, they throw it off good dogs. So you want to feel like you want to clutch that market. But you can't clutch that market because you ain't put in enough work to clutch that market. You bought one damn dog, which may it could cost you. Depends on if you bought them as a puppy or a grown dog. I don't know. May it cost you a couple thousand or a couple or a thousand or so. I don't know what you paid for. But you got one dog. That ain't no more than eight or nine years old. 
eight years old at the most, seven years old, six years old, if he that old. I doubt very seriously you seen any of them OGs like Crazy Eyes, like Cyclone, like Split Is, like Little John, like we need talking about Big John. I doubt very seriously you seen um uh I know you ain't seen Nitro. I know you ain't seen Batman or none of them. I know you ain't seen Fletcher. I know you ain't seen Fletcher. You ain't seen Rattler. You might be seeing them on a picture. You know what I'm saying? But how about Little Thunder? How about Little Thunder? Did you see Little Thunder? But yet, you get you get a chance to, to run your half ass down south to get you one good red boy Jocko dog from the man, the source. And then you, you run back out there talking about, oh, I'm producing. Oh, I'm producing. Hold up, man. Oh, let me run back in the day. Let me run my happy ass over here to David Tank. <laughs> run my ass over here to David Tank, get me a yellow dog. I run over here to David Tank, I got me a yellow dog. Oh, man, internet just coming out. Boy, y'all ain't heard, man, I got the best damn yellow dog. Tank even, can't even produce this no more. Tank can't produce it, nobody can not produce it. If you want this, you better holler at Pelican Bay with this dog right here, because Tan ain't got it, nobody else ain't got it, man. That ain't the way the dog game work. You gotta be like, you know, he a great dog, he producing good, you know. Hey, I can't do nothing but give props to Tan for breeding him. You know what I'm saying? And one dog may outshine another dog man who just jumping in the dog game with you at the same time as you. They got them little accolades that you got, but for, for 30 years worth of uh, work, Progress, good progress. One dog can't do it, homeboy. And this ain't no disrespect to you. This is like keeping it real with you. You know, puppy peddling can't be, be that serious. You know what I'm saying? To where the point where you want to pick on the person you got the dog from instead of picking on the whole general. Pick on the red boy Jocko dogs in general. This is all of them. Don't even pick out Walker Mall. Pick out all of them. I got the best producing one. He's scared to do that. There's too many out there. And a lot of y'all folks scared of certain kennels. You just you, you hand pick who you want to go with. Same way the dog game is. You hand pick, hand pick, hand pick. Get on Facebook, talk shit, talk shit. Bunch of bullshit going on out there, man. Bunch of bullshit. Same way I can't take one, uh, one of them blue Dutch shepherds and get them from Vanguard K9 and thinking I can outbreed and I can out do everything, do what he did with that dog, as far as breeding and producing and all that. And and, and he got 30 years in, in, invested in this. And I got one dog invested in it? No, man. No, it don't work like that. It don't work like that. You got to give homage to the ones that got you in that spot where you got to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Other than that, you just going to have people like me that's rolling with these folk. They going to get up here and talk shit. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got to get up here and talk. I'm going to talk. They can talk wherever they talk. I'm going to talk up here. You know what I'm saying? End of the day, dead eyes one dog. And I know damn well Dead Eye ain't producing all kind of shit like that because I, like I told y'all before, I like Dead Eye them, you know what I'm saying? Because it come off of the same stuff I'm running. But at the end of the day, everything that I got that was crossed off of him, it shit ain't dead shit. You know what? I ain't gonna sit up here and get up here and, and lie like, oh, this and that, this and that. You know, I run my shit pure. I ain't with all that crossing. I cross it here and there, you know what I'm saying? But shit, at the end of the day, I run mine pure, you know? You do what you do with what you get, and I do what I do with what I get, you know what I'm saying? And as far as me, the caliber of dog that I seen that I throw off with crossed up dogs wasn't the caliber of dog I was used to seeing, you know what I'm saying? And you can say what you want to say, talk all the shit you want to talk. But a lot of y'all folk ain't seen good bulldogs, you only seen one or two dogs, you still ain't, you're talking shit about walking dogs, you ain't never seen. None of them boys' dogs to where you can talk about it. You seen your homeboy with a dog or this homeboy with a dog, but you ain't seen the real deal shit. But yet, you got a whole bunch of opinions about this and about that. Man, that's why I say, man, the whole pit bull game is fucked all the way up. Fucked all the way up. Dogs aren't famous no more by names. Dogs are famous by pedigrees now. And they wonder why your dog ain't gonna be uh, famous as Mayday or Red Boy, this and that. We know their names. <laughs> all all y'all want to be known by is pedigree. Oh, that's that's the dog with so and so pedigree. Oh, that's the dog with so and so pedigree. Instead of people knowing that dog name, not even caring what the pedigree is. I don't care what his pet dog pedigree. I want some off that dog. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what he bred like. 
I want something off that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to have it like that because everybody worrying about a pen. Everybody worrying about a pen. No matter what you see, you still worrying about a damn pen. You know what I'm saying? And ain't not one damn pen did nothing good out there in the damn square yet. But a lot of y'all wouldn't know it because you're Facebook junkies. Facebook junkies and cyberspace dog man. You know what I'm saying? And cyberspace gangsters and all that shit mixed with the dog man. So you wouldn't know that shit. And like I said before, you want to argue with me, I ain't arguing on Facebook. Ain't no money in it for me. You want to argue, I'll argue on YouTube, but get a couple dollars off of it when we're talking about these dogs. If you want to get on the dog news situation, you know what I'm saying? And these folk out here talking about Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Shaquille, um, Dominique Wilkins, and, and, and Rodman, and all the, all the pros, and they still playing in the D-League. Man, get out of here, man. You better get out of the D-League first, man. Well, they got a D League boy. See, they got the wrong person with a dog channel because, see, at the end of the day, I, don't, I ain't even with all the bullshit no more. And I'm, I'm gonna just talk, talk what the fuck I wanna say and, and say it how I wanna say it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all boys in the D League, man. Y'all in the D League, but y'all in the Pro League on that Facebook and all that other shit because, like, we all know Facebook allow you to be all you can be, like the Army. You know what I'm saying? But in the real deal, Holyfield, a lot of y'all boys. A lot of y'all boys don't even exist. Don't exist. And and the way you conduct yourself on Facebook make make people glad your existence, you know, you're irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? But on Facebook, you know, everybody can show, which is cool. Everybody can show, but they be the mouthpieces. Everybody, everybody talk, 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 but you can't show nothing but a pedigree. Show nothing but a pedigree. But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Like I say, over the last week or so, you know, like I told you, uh, my video slowed up because I've been kind of busy, you know what I'm saying, doing other things, trying to make sure, you know, I got my situation right outside the video world. But, um, shit, man. Over the last couple weeks, all I see is people, what you got to watch for breeders, man. That's why I say I wasn't even selling nothing uh, off that JD Hall locally. To, to anybody around me, off that same little repeat breeding, because simple fact, man, people not in the dog game to be in the dog game to, to really bulldog. They in the dog game to knock you out the way. They in the dog game to uh, get in your way. Just like in the streets, corner ornaments. You got people who ain't making no money This in the way. They this in the way. Corner ornaments. You got corner ornaments in every game, whether it's from Wall Street to the bulldog game. Corner ornaments. They ain't making no noise. They just in the way, fucking up shit, making bad names for this. You got making people giving bad names for going them dogs. People giving bad names for uh, walking my dog. People giving bad names for the macho book dog. People giving bad names for this dog. Then you got people who don't do right with it. But it's just corn ornaments, man. You know. And although we get the money from it, boy, little do you know, selling your dog to a person who ain't gonna help that dog benefit in the long run. Ain't doing you no justice, son. I can promise you that. Yeah, it's giving you a couple dollars in your pockets. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't no justice coming from it. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, if I take my model wise and sell them to somebody who ain't gonna try to uh, do nothing with that dog, period, it ain't gonna be no justice from it. It ain't no justice from for the breeder, you know, to, to get that clientele or to get people to know he got good dogs. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy. It's crazy how... People can have people in phone numbers, they can have people addresses, they can be there with the people houses before. They can know these people on, you know, on a, a first name basis, but they won't go see these people in an eye to eye basis. They rather get on Facebook and be gangsters. Get on Facebook and I'm not talking about gangsters, I'm talking about like killing nobody. I'm talking about bulldog talk. You know what I'm saying? They wanna get on Facebook and, and talk shit and down and this and that. And this and that, but won't go see you eye to eye. <laughs> Just like the real Facebook gangsters. Twitter type, Twitter fingers. Call call them type of people Twitter fingers. You know what I'm saying? All they do is type, 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 and, 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 and try to make a sale, 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 sale. You know what I'm saying? End of the day, as long as you got a good mouthpiece and a good type game, it seems like you can be a dog man these days. Cause I, Lord, I see the shit I see on Facebook. People that I know for a fact ain't got one dog. But they up here advertising this dog, advertising that dog, advertising this dog, advertising that dog. But they ain't got one damn dog. 
But yet, you have other Facebook people be like, oh, um, shout out to this dog, man, that dog, man, this dog, man. Little lady know, I ain't even talking about the YouTube channel, fella. I'm talking straight Facebook. Little lady know, this folk ain't even got no dog. And, 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 and oh, you a real dog, man, this and that, this and that. Folk ain't even got no dog, man. I only got one dog. <laughs> but, hey, I'm going to mind my business. I'm going to mind my business. Pelican Bay Kennels, I tell you what. If the whole, I tell you what, I keep it on the back burner, though. I keep it on the back burner, just like I say the rest of them videos. You know what I'm saying? Because, end of the day, man, there's a bunch of foolery and fuckery going around in the dog game. And they, they used to say, the streets in the dog game is tied up. Boy, Facebook and the dog game, then the, the intertwined and then, you know, it's more mixed in than the streets ever been. You know what I'm saying? Facebook, shit. Nobody want to give nobody no props. The man when the man producing the dog. I seen the man, somebody asked about a post on one of them boys. I seen him walk my post. The dog up there that he was asking about. And then I see 20 other people post all walking my dogs that they got. And none of them giving him props. All of them trying to get the sale. All of them trying to get the sale. None of them giving them props like they got the best dog. And all of his, his, his blood. Man, what the hell is this shit coming to? What the hell is this shit coming to? Man, when you got the man with the, the blood to connect in the in the actual chat, there's no use to, you might as well just sit back and chill, man. You know, it ain't that much money in the world. You know, the walk my post his dog up for sale. You know, this man created that line. So either you coming up saying, oh yeah, I got some good stuff off of that, he go one of mine right here. Uh, everybody already know that's coming off his stuff because that dog made a name for himself one. But for 20 people to get up on here, you boom, I got this one for stud, boom, I got that one for stud, boom, I got this one for stud, I got this one, I got these puppies, I got that puppy. It don't make no sense, man. Sometimes you just gotta sit back, you know what I'm saying? That's why I tell you, you can look at a dog, man, and see his, his, the way he, his, he handled himself, the way he conducted himself, you know what I'm saying? How much class he got, to know if you even want to deal with him in person, in real life, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I say, man, a lot of these folk, they just, this is a figment of their imagination, man. Figment of their imagination, and it's about puppy peddling. Puppy peddling, and I guarantee, if you ask, the whoever owned that, I, whoever owned them, this is the only question I want to ask y'all right now, and this ain't no disrespect to none of y'all. Whoever owned that, I, Tell me the characteristics of every single dog in that dog pedigree. The characteristics of the dogs they threw of every single dog in that pedigree. I bet you Pelican Bay can look at that pen and tell you that. But you want to get up here and say, you're producing better than what the man who created the line produced. It don't make no sense, man. You know, real is real, it is what it is. What you gonna do, get up here and talk shit about me or say this or that? Come on, man. <laughs> enough is enough. You're not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to do it. If you do it, you still get a props to where you get it from. Because you got it. You know, you got it in that way that you got it. And if you wouldn't have got it from him, you wouldn't have been producing what you're producing. So why not that person? I don't understand, man. If it ain't about a puppy pedal, you know, you pay attention. Everybody got something to sell. You know what I'm saying? But I'll tell you what, you won't get one of these right here. I can promise you that. You won't get one of these right here. Because there is the best producing walking my female level them hit the ground right here save a 2000 save a 2000 and i bred it back the hacksaw and i i promise you walking my ain't got none of that and they can't they dog ain't gonna produce nothing like save a 2000 but i got save a 2000 from them you know so i got save a 2000 from them and they got sisters and brothers and cousins uncles aunts but they ain't got a dog like save a 2000 you know what i'm saying and there's always a chance you know all, all the jokes aside, there's always a chance that I can get that one. Dog, that is that one. But it's your character that go along with that dog that, 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 that shows it all. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this dog here is great. But man, I got that dog for him, man. He the one bred that dog. You know what I'm saying? This dog producer, the dog to me, you know, he a great producer. I can only be honest with you. I only, this is my first time getting a dog, you know, from him. But this dog here is throwing off some good dogs. I don't know what the rest of his dogs was throwing off, you know, but this one right here is throwing off some good dogs, you know. I don't know what they're throwing off, 
But since I don't know, hold up. I'm going to say that mine is throwing off better than he ever produced. He ever produced then or he ever produced now because only people that got something that's winning off that blood is coming off my dog. Yeah, they coming off my dog. Man, get out of here, man. You sound ridiculous, man. But anyway, man, like I say, man, y'all boys be getting it twisted. No disrespect to the owners of Dead Eye, to the past owners of Dead Eye, future owners of Dead Eye. Dead Eye, great dog. You know what I'm saying? But we, but we produce dogs like Dead Eye every day on this side of town. You know what I'm saying? Every day on this side of town, dogs like Dead Eye are being created. You know, uh, year after year after year after year after year. But like I say, you can tell when certain people get their best dogs because they start acting like what they say. Uh, that ain't never had shit, you know what I'm saying? They start acting like that, you know? One good dog, man. One good dog, I'ma tell you now. I had one good one, but if, I, if you ain't got the years in it on that blood, man, if you ain't got the years in it, stop embarrassing yourself, you know what I'm saying? Cause you, you set yourself up for failure. You don't even know what you're looking for. Well, actually, you know, you'll be all right, you just, Gotta realize that the hating ain't gonna work. You know what I'm saying? The hating ain't gonna work. Thank y'all for tuning in to the channel, man. I ain't gonna keep y'all here like I always say, man. Thank y'all for watching the video. Hit that like button before you get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We moving on up. We moving on up. You know what I'm saying? Like the Jeffersons. Moving on up. All right. Before we get up out of here, y'all stay safe. And remember, we do not condone anything illegal. If you partake in anything illegal, you know, don't even run, watch my channel. Don't damn take no tips, no none of that, because I ain't giving you no tips for nothing illegal. You know, I ain't got time to be typing no, uh, what you call that shit? Uh, disclaimers and all that. I'm telling you to your face, out my own mouth. You go out there and do some bullshit, you're on your fucking own. You know what I'm saying? You're on your own. It ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm going to tell you that shit now. You go out there and the motherfuckers roll up on your house. Don't start talking about Pelican Bay. Watch the channel, this and that. Yeah, they can watch my channel. But best believe, I got some dogs to sell them. Some dogs that I'm training, you know. Uh, maybe they can go out there and work for them. Or get on the force or go out there and look for somebody. Or smell up this or chase down this person or something. Like that. I'm training dogs. But uh, other than that, I ain't with all that foolishness. You know what I'm saying? I ain't with the foolishness. But I'm willing to give you a good news video, you know, on a daily basis. And like I say, man. I'm going to be back rolling in a minute. I just got to take care of these puppies. And it ain't getting no easier for me. You know what I'm saying? Because they about to start running around. They two weeks old today. They good. They healthy two weeks old. They got their first wormer. Day in the next couple days. And, you know, we're just going to keep it rolling like that. We're going to have them on that food next week. Put them on some light food at three weeks. Got to help that mama up. She's taking care of 16. She's doing it good. So I got to help her out as much as I can possible. You know, give us the top-notch food as I can. You know what I'm saying? And... and Make sure that I can try to help carry that load, you know. I ain't going to try to do no bottle feeding or none of that because I believe I get off track when the puppies will get off track with the milk that's going in their body. I just let them eat that, and I put them on that soft food early. But y'all have a good day, man, and stay safe out there. Pelican Bay Kennels, and I'm out.